So this is probably one of the funniest videos I've seen in a long time. This is one of the dumbest people I've seen in a long time. This person uh, is named Lindy Lee. Now she is apparently like a delegate for Joe Biden. And now I have seen her Twitter account on Twitter. And Mehdi Hassan is interviewing her. Now Mehdi Hassan does a lot of good interviews with people who need to be questioned well. Um, and so in this interview, obviously she's going to get questioned by Mehdi. And he complete, she completely falls apart. And there's literally zero coherency here. I mean, this is truly amazing. I mean, wow, what a beautiful video this is. Let's, there's multiple parts to this. Let's check it out. I don't want a candidate or a president who's being supported in the past by the NRA. It's, it's just unconscionable that Americans walking down the street today cannot be... Cannot... You didn't, just, just a very quick clarification. Yes, you didn't absolutely. feel that way in 2016? My vote for Bernie was not, a, as I mentioned, wasn't a vote for Bernie. It was a vote against the establishment. And the 27... At that point... But why was, are you now with the establishment? I don't consider myself... Oh, Joe, you don't consider I'm, Joe I'm, Biden to be establishment? I'm the granddaughter of illiterate rice farmers. Not you personally. You don't consider Joe Biden the candidate you support to be establishment? There is no establishment. I think this is almost like a myth. You know, if there were truly an establishment, Bernie Sanders wouldn't have been able to get as far as he did. Okay. You just said you were against the establishment in 2016. Now you're saying against there isn't Hillary an establishment. Against Hillary Clinton. Against, okay. like... It's not just a stutter. He does have a stutter. But, for example, Joe Biden three times in February said that he got arrested in South Africa trying to see Nelson Mandela. He, he then stopped. had to walk that back. That wasn't a stutter. That was a lie. Well, we can call out Bernie on his money lies, too. We could, Where are the we records? could but I'm asking you. I'll, I'll, put the lie, I'll put that to Linda in a moment. I think, you know, I, we would be disingenuous to say that politicians don't shape the narrative. Everyone does it. It's, you know... And so it's not just to ask you both this question. Linda, you said in an interview last month, uh, because, you, because of the experiences you've had online in particular uh, with some Bernie supporters, you say, you said that he, if he were to become the Democratic nominee, uh, you said you would not vote for Absolutely him. Absolutely not. So that means you would be, what, sitting on, voting Trump, sitting at home? I'm going to vote blue all the way down except for president. So you're OK with a second Trump term? I'm absolutely not OK with it, but I'm also almost probably equally terrified and traumatized by the prospect of a Sanders presidency right now. So it's, but it, to He's the point where you would be OK with a Trump second term? I'm not OK so, with it. Well, by definition, you would I'm be if you did I'm fighting like hell to make sure that Biden is a nominee. So I accept that. I'm asking a hypothetical, him. which I will also ask Linda. If it is Bernie Sanders a nominee, you will not vote for him, no, even I'm if it means a Trump to. second term. OK, Linda, are you a Bernie or bust, as some people on the left say? Is Listen, it Bernie man, Sanders or I no mean, one else? What you're seeing here is the most incoherent Joe Biden supporter I have ever seen in my entire life. And so this is one of those people. Actually, if you can name someone who's dumber, who's one of like the any of the establishment hacks, let me know down below. Try and I challenge you to name some names. But she's somebody who, under the most basic vetting and the most basic questioning that you should think about in yourself, by yourself, in your own head as you're thinking these things, um, she can't even answer basic things. So Mehdi's like, oh, uh, well, you know, the NRA stuff, right? Which I don't even know if the NRA actually supported him. I don't think it did. I think it's a bogus talking point. But he's like, wait a second, but you supported him back in 2016 because apparently she was a Bernie supporter in 2016. And then he's like, she's like, oh, well, it was, a, it was a vote against the establishment. It's like, now what? The establishment disappeared. Joe Biden is not the establishment. Hillary Clinton was establishment, but Joe Biden's not. Joe Biden is literally the very definition of establishment. He's extremely intertwined with Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, all of these folks. They're all part of the same guild. They're all part of the same squad, all part of the same team. And so you're not being consistent in any way, shape, or form at all. And then when she tries taking it personally... Nobody's saying you're part of the establishment, but I do suspect she's probably pretty wealthy, though, and I, I think that she probably is. Now, I'd have to look into that. I haven't looked into that, but uh, it's definitely a suspicion that I have for sure. Um, you know, maybe something to do with agribusiness, some rice big agribusiness stuff. I don't know, but uh, she's obviously just completely in incoherent, and then you saw um, the second clip there in which she's basically saying... She's trying to get around the word lie. She's basically trying to say, oh, they lie all the time without saying it. But no, like, there's a difference between doing, like, some sort of an embellishment and then just completely making something up. Like, just imagine... Imagine Bernie Sanders being like, yeah, I went on a hunger strike with Gandhi in India. Like, imagine that. Like, do you have any idea how absurd and disgusting of a lie that would be? Same thing would go if he were to say that he wrote MLK's I Have a Dream speech and gave it to him, right? Like, there's a big difference in terms of lies. And then it's like, you know, what lies does Bernie Sanders have? Go ahead. Because you guys have tried your hardest to come across literally anything. And I know for a fact that if there was anything for you to go after, you would have already done it. 
So where is it at? Which lies are you talking about? Um, and then the final clip, she's just so, so privileged and so pompous. Oh, I would be equally as traumatized by a fascist, racist, xenophobe uh, as I would be a Bernie Sanders presidency because he's going to tax the wealthy, he's going to give us health care, he's going to give us free education. Oh my God, the trauma. Imagine being such a loser that you'd be equally traumatized by a literal fascist, okay? A fucking fascist, as you would somebody who wants to give people health care, free education, free college education, a living wage. Basically, he wants to make it so people's lives aren't complete shit and you're like that's as bad as a fascist that's what you're saying and so you know what i want to do i want this person to go everywhere so we need to egg her on somehow to be like oh yeah you did a great job we need to get her on cnn we need to get her on msnbc we need to get her on foxes we need to get her everywhere because the more places that she goes to speak basically the more she's gonna make biden look like a moron and the better it is for us. Because when she's so incoherent and she gets demolished, just by the most basic line of questioning that you should be doing for yourself, just to make sure you're consistent and doing like brain exercises, you know? Um, I would love to see her on MSNBC or CNN. That would be a beautiful thing to see. Uh, just watching her just get pummeled by herself. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully she gets on CNN or MSNBC or one of these bigger mainstream media outlets because... Oh boy, this would be like, uh, this would be some sort of a, uh, not a good move for their campaign, right?